Well, the Queen has died. Queen Elizabeth II yesterday, Thursday, the 8th of September. Mm. And King... Charles the Third is immediately king, just like that. And I've looked it up. He also then becomes the supreme governor of the Church of England. Well, there it is. I am British. But first and foremost, I am a Christian. I'm going to cut my wonderful old monk short. I'm actually half and half English and Scottish by blood. And I'm just another human being in this world. Yes, I've watched quite a lot and, you know, one is getting exactly what one would expect from the establishment, the BBC and the news outlets and so on. And the world in which I live, world leaders, etc. Didn't she do well? Tuesday, she was packing one former prime minister off and <coughs> welcoming the new one in. That was Tuesday. What a week. And then one message, and I, when I heard it too, I thought, well, they never normally talk about these things, do they, the royal family? So it must be fairly acute. One of those yesterday morning. And then, lo and behold, she died by 6.30. So a lovely, peaceful way to go. And there it is. But I have known this as long as I've been alive as an adult, quite frankly, and able to put two thoughts together. It's just utterly false. The whole monarchy, shtick, the whole business. I was in America at a Lutheran church, as it happens, and the minister, amongst other things, pointed out that, you know, we Americans wouldn't, you know, we are free people. So this monarchy, you know, abolish them. To what purpose that some human being, purely by dint of their birth, suddenly becomes all sorts of stuff and the English are just, a certain part of the English are just like that. They, they think it's marvellous. Well, I disagree. I'm with Martin Luther. God instituted Peter as his earthly head of the church. But actually, I reject the Roman Catholics too for a whole string of reasons, simply because, if nothing else, they're, they're, they've strayed too far uh, in, in a human way from God. So as far as I'm concerned, the only guide is Christ. 
and all this utter. Since Henry VIII, as far as I'm concerned, again, is just false. So 1539, dissolution of the monasteries, and I've just scanned through it. The, the sort of early days of the formation of the Church of England and so on, and then uh, Scotland hoiked off, disestablished, and Wales did as well, and Ireland, and <laughs> so they've all gone off in their own ways. The Roman Catholics think they've got the only path to God. That's one of the reasons, but I'm absolutely sure they're lost as well. <clears throat> I've been blethering on about this for decades. To me as a Christian, it really matters. Christ's words to Peter are these. And I don't know how this works. I really have no idea. I don't inhale and it helps me think just because I have one little cigarette doesn't make me not a Christian, double negative. And through sheer serendipity, one of my films turned up, which I made 13 years ago. I was sleeping out under a tree in a town called Stone by a canal. And boy, I was enjoying life. I miss it. All I had to worry about, well, I had the canal I could wash there and couldn't drink it so I had to get water for the day and so on but I was really living take up your cross and follow me each day now I've got this to me absolutely sufficient material comfort around me boy how I wouldn't like to be born into I mean I've always thought the same about the Duke of Westminster the current one he's a young chap but He's born into this straitjacket of, of this humongous wealth and property and, oh, Lord, poor fellow. So in America, I don't know if I've finished that thought, uh, they, the minister just saying, we Americans absolutely do not recognise that there's anyone to whom we sort of have to doff our cats we are free <laughs> well we have to have something some sort of institution but quite frankly just get rid of the monarchy <sighs> I mean it just epitomizes a, a vestige anachronistic outdated vestige of, of false human relations that any, as far as I'm concerned, again, before God, we are all equal, no matter our position of birth, wealth or otherwise, status, health, colour, everything, the only thing that matters to me, as a Christian, is to truly know that my Redeemer liveth. Amen. For sure, it's a significant event in the world. Absolutely. Queenie's dead. Well, she was 96. Had an extraordinarily privileged life in that straitjacket. And she went on along with this monstrous hypocrisy. I'm sorry. I can't see it in any other way. 
She knew what she was doing and she was heading up a church in that way. My old monk's back. <laughs> an organization of man, a religious organization of man, that for me is the problem. Oh Lord. And it's false. Yes, it marks the end of an era, for sure. What do people do? We want, oh, youngsters, they have their sort of sporting heroes, don't they? Football, footballers or something. For whatever reason, I found myself just looking up chess grandmasters. So I grew up more in the era of the sort of 70s with Bobby Fischer and Boris Spassky and sort of moving through. And then uh, Kasparov was the sort of head of it all for quite a long time. And then now there's this uh, Norwegian chap who's been head of it, so I know less about it. So, highly, highly capable, intelligent people, so gifted. Well, we are given our gifts. And one of them should be to recognize that before, no, that's all wrong. Just not to see the other person is, is either greater than you or less than you. In God's eyes, we're all equal, and the whole royal family perpetuates this total nonsense of, of the structure of uh, the society in which I live, quite frankly. What can I do about it? I can, as a Christian, see clearly <coughs> that that organization has gone astray and does not represent, in spite of all its history and the beautiful hymns and the good words are said, but at its heart it is rotten and you cannot have the curate's egg good in parts. It's either a good egg or not, and it is a very bad egg. What's ahead of us? <laughs> I've been saying this too again for decades. Armageddon, quite frankly, simply because mankind will not see the war. Currently, Ukraine-Russia, that's the big sort of matter on the world stage. Extraordinary how Pakistan has just sort of slid off the news. A third of the country underwater. Millions of people displaced, thousands killed. And our economy and all the stuff in the world. Well, God is the boss. Put your faith in God, not of mankind and uh, worldly structures. One of which is actually this freedom of speech. I don't expect to get arrested for this. I don't wish to be disrespectful. <clears throat> I'm stating what I believe to be the truth of the matter the underlying truth of the matter. God is the boss, and my guide to God is by loving, listening to God's word given to us through Christ. So the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John.
Oh, man. <laughs> I might make another one. I love my old mugs. It's Magnificant. Anima mea dominus. <laughs> and I mistranslated as anima. See, it sounds like anime. Uh, give my spirit some woof, <laughs> but actually, I, I knew I'd sort of got it wrong. Anima, of course, is spirit. So it's, or soul. So it's my soul that's magnified the Lord on me. <laughs>